Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back in. I just was thinking about stuff as I was going through my YouTube channel and I wanted to share with you. But before that, uh, thanks for everybody that's subscribed, commented, um, and supports the channel. Also, thanks for taking the time out to come watch the video. Um, any video I put out really uh, it means a lot. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers and I'm telling you, I'm a really small channel. Um, it's really hard to make YouTube videos, um, especially when, you know, you're not getting the viewership, uh, you feel like a failure. Um, and you know, one thing going through this process, YouTube, uh, whatever it is really photography, fishing, golf, hunting. Um, I think most people don't persevere past that point of failure. Um, and what I've noticed is a lot of people that actually make it and whatever they're going to do, um, they're usually not successful and they usually don't have a lot of traction and uh, they just keep going. And it's those people that just keep going in the face of adversity uh, that actually make it. So, <clears throat> you know, I've only been fishing seriously for probably about four years. You know, I wanted to put out this look of, oh, I know exactly what I'm talking about. And to be honest, I felt like it made me look like a fool. Um, even people that have been fishing for a long time, I think, um, I mean, or doing anything, golf, there's always somebody better than you. Um, but the state of fishing for me really, I mean, there's all this animosity about co-anglers. It's deer season and I got deer in the backyard, but I don't shoot those. Anyway, uh, all the animosity that's going on uh, in fishing, um, it really doesn't affect me much. Um, I'm not apparently invested as much <laughs> into fishing as I'd like to think. And I do have my own boat. I do like to compete in fishing, uh, but I get humbled so much every time I go fishing. You know, we see this tournament coming up. We see a BFL, we see a private tournament, we see a big bass bash type tournament or something. We do all this research. There's so much information out there. And you try to put together this plan for going to fish. And every time I do that, it always comes back to the most simple techniques and just having time on the water. And you know what? I enjoy fishing so much that I don't really care how bad I do. Of course, I get discouraged. Of course, I wish I did better. Um, but I think when you truly love something so much, that's the ticket that's going to allow you to make it in whatever you're trying to do, whether it's, you know, social media, or it is being a competitive angler at the top level, whatever the case may be. I've come to realize failing so much that if you love it, you're going to be willing to go through all the negative stuff, all the hard stuff, all the expensive stuff within reason, and you're gonna overcome it because you love the thing. If it's not something you're diehard passionate about, I don't know how anybody can persevere through all the negative, you know, unless you've just been gifted something already made, like you're gonna go through that. So again, I just wanted to come on here and tell you that for me fishing, I, <laughs> I get whooped so much. I got whooped this past weekend. I thought I figured them out. I had brought on a boater that as a teammate that uh, I fished with um, and did well with and uh, get along with very well. And I, he showed me a few things. I mean, these are people like him. He's been fishing on rivers and lakes their whole lives. You know, I don't have that. I've gone for a summer to go bass fishing. So anyway, without rambling on, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please like and subscribe. It really, really helps me get traction on YouTube. The algorithms is a whole different gang. Um, and I'm going to try to put out more videos, just this down to earth, real video stuff. So have a good week. Good luck. Stay safe.